Welcome to Chris and Carlette Live, a podcast about life, love, and overcoming obstacles. Each week, we discuss the good, the bad, and the indifferent of life's interruptions. Now, here's your host, Chris and Carlette. Keep believing, don't go stressing, keep it moving, God, we're resting, here to help you, here to bless you, mm-hmm. are here this is what the second week in april now yeah wow or something like yeah something like that yeah listen this this year is going past hey guys we i still on the subject of new year new you okay i'm still on it are you all still you know you're pressing have you re- reinvented yourself have you tried something didn't work in and you're back at it again with something else well we have and if you only knew, if you only knew, um, I, we're on our second diet now. Yes. We're on our second diet. The first one was good. I've lost weight. Yes, you have. Yes, you see them. But, but, but this is on your second one. That first one, our commitment kind of waned away. Yeah. But, hey, we're here, and we're so glad right. that you're here with us. Um. Please tune in and like and share on our Facebook page, Chris and Carlette Live yes. uh, on Facebook and subscribe on our YouTube page, Chris and Carlette Live and share. Share with your friends, share it and get them to like our pages and subscribe. Share and we're it. building up like, share, Stand click, there. please like, share us to your pages. When we go live, share it. When do a um, do a replay. Listen, thank you for all the ones that have done it so far. And also, you can also uh, text CNC Live to 474747 to always get our updates of when we're about to go live. Yes. I mean, are. we've had. Um, we brought some good content. Yes, we have. And I'm not just, I'm not being braggadocious. This is the feedback we're getting. Yes. This is the feedback we're getting. We're giving, giving you all great um, content, great information, something you can use. I even had uh, someone to call me last week and said, I'm going back to your show about credit. And um, to make sure I'm doing the right things or if it's something else I need to do. Because when we had um, our guest Robin in in January, she talked about credit and credit, credit and COVID. So, listen, you can watch our replays on YouTube, on our page on Facebook Live. I mean, on Facebook, Chris and Carly Live. So, um, again, join us. Chris, uh, like, subscribe, share. Yes. Like, subscribe, share. Like on Facebook, subscribe on on YouTube, and you can share with both, okay? Yes, this is our 15th episode. Is that what that is? Yes. Wow. 15. 15 is good. Because last week was our 14th, and we had Sun, I hope I don't mess up her name, Migliacci, I think. Migliacci. 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 Yes, and she talked about Asian American, the past, present, and future. So just like we talked about... African Americans past, present, black history. Yes, yes. She talked about Asian Americans. And you all know what's unfolding at this time. The um the acts of violence that's been committed to the Asian American community. And guys, listen, we have to talk about it. We ha- what is this show? Life interruptions. Good, bad, and indifferent. Yes. Stuff is coming to us on a daily basis. Seriously, a daily basis. And so, um, Let's talk about it. Let's start the discussion. We cannot sit up here and act like the stuff does not affect us because maybe it's not your culture. I mean, hey, these are your coworkers, some of your family, your loved ones, your spouses, your partners, all that, your best friends. Right. You, you cannot act like, oh, this doesn't affect me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because when we're, we're going to talk about the uh, um, Asian American uh, business that we all patronize. Let's, let's not even go there. Right. Okay. So. Cause I love me some Chinese food. Okay. Yes. And that's just one. I'm yes. just saying. So mm-hmm. yeah, she was a great, she was a great uh, guest again. Um, we, we just try to bring you quality people, quality subject matters, information that you can walk away with that yes. you can use, give you some substance. Right. And y'all could chew the meat and spit out the bones. 
Right. See, I'm not saying that everything we put on you will agree or everything that somebody has, but uh, trust me, you can walk away with something from every show. Yes. Yes. So. And that was our two minute recap, guys. That was our two minute recap. Yes. Mm-hmm. So our our we we don't have a guest today. We are the guest. We are the guest. I mean, we we won't always have a guest because this is Chris and Carla live. If we choose to bring somebody into our space, then okay, we can. But no matter what, it's Chris and Carla live. live. Yes. So we have um we have a family. Um, family of five. We're a family of five. Um, How many would you like to be seated? Uh, Edwards party of five. Edwards party of five. Yes, that would be us. So, um, this is a touchy situation today. As you saw, um, when we advertised, um, our title was the college journey begins. So you already know we didn't already been through college. Not that we can't get more education, but it ain't about us. Okay. Yes. Our oldest just turned 17. He's about to finish his 11th year of high school 11th grade yes and uh i'm gonna tell y'all now i can't think about him leaving long because i tear up now let's bring on the tears i tear up now i wouldn't be surprised i tear up during this episode so i'm just letting you know now why will you why will you tear up i mean it's my it's my baby it's my firstborn Mm. every child is special i don't have favorites my firstborn is special because he's my first. Okay. Second born, he was the first after breast cancer. It, it was a possibility he wasn't going to be here. Then the third, uh, no, the girl. second one, the second one yeah. came uh, after breast cancer and it's a girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's like each child just special, just special. Mm-hmm. So Christian is finishing up the 11th grade. He is doing well. He is um, going higher and higher academically, and I appreciate his hard work. I'm seeing it. As you all know, we stated what in our episode two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago how we made the decision to send him back to high school in in in-person learning instead of doing the virtual because I have close contact with his teachers, and they have the conversation with Miss Edwards, we know Christian would do so much better if he was in class. This is what we're doing. They were showing me the classroom. This is how the students are uh, spaced out. We clean between. This is what we do. And I so appreciate it. And we had to make the decision. And, you know, Christian didn't like it. Oh, mama, no. Oh, we in a pandemic. I don't know about that. Oh, no, no, no. His first day back and when he came home, he thanked me. Mm. He thanked me and said, mama, thank you for putting me back in class. I feel better already. And people, the two classes that he was struggling with, he, he's already, grades are up. Yes. Already. We talked to his English teacher a couple of weeks too, and mm-hmm. I just wanted to know, you know, how is he doing in class? You say, oh, he's wonderful. Mm-hmm. He's doing good. Mm-hmm. And so. you hear stuff like, he's a great guy. He's a great kid. He's a great young man. I, I bless God for that. I, I do. Mm-hmm. I do. And um, that has always been, for Christian, he's my he's mild mannered, he's cool, he's laid back, mm-hmm. but he's a funny guy too. And he can have some good conversation with you. He is my historian. Mm-hmm. Like I can say, Christian, what war was that when um the French and Indian and, and or the this and the that? I'm just making up stuff, guys. It's, oh yeah, that was eighteen seventy something. That was seventeen so and then that's the that that act was passed. Oh really, Christian? You know, or we can be out and be like, Christian, what kind of um, architecture that? Oh, that's uh, that's Doric. And that's and I just sit and I listen. He's a sports buff, too. Yes, he loves football and basketball. Yes. yes. He, he think, you know, LeBron is the king. We have to remind him before there was a LeBron, there was Michael Jordan. There was Michael Jordan, and the we, GOAT. And, and when I talk about it can get into heated conversation, heated fellowship, he, he's the one. I mean, like, brother, you got to lay back. You got to lay back. Yeah. Like the other day I, I saw a person that had uh, on their uh, license plate, not a bumper sticker, a license plate, R.I.P. Kobe. And I was like, oh, oh my wow. God. This is on a license plate. That's deep. That's deep. You paid. Remember when uh, Christian cried 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> when the Colts lost. I don't know if it was the coach. It was the coach. No, it was with LeBron. I think it was. I don't know. It was one of them teams. He will cry for his team. Anything to do with LeBron this and, dude, the Indi- and Indianapolis Colts, he will cry. This dude is a loyalist. He is loyal. Like, Mama, I'm, when I get grown and move to Indianapolis, I'm like, no, you're not. You going to leave me? I did. I said it to him. Mm-hmm. She sure I did. said it yesterday. Baby, you going to leave your mama here in Georgia? He said, well, why don't y'all move to Indianapolis? Really, Christian? I'm not moving back to Indianapolis. I'm not moving back to Indianapolis. <laughs> the car is parked in Georgia. Hallelujah. Now we can move back to L.A. Okay, so anyway, like I said. Um, L.A., baby. Hey, I bought me some Adidas with L.A., Los Angeles on the side. And I'm like, Ooh. why would you do that? I, I can see if you were from L.A. I was with my bill. No. I had to get them Los no. Angeles. You represent Adidas. L.A. living in Georgia. Yeah, I'm repping do that L.A., at? baby. I'm just saying. L.A., California. Okay, anyway, back okay. on target. Him, Christian. LA. Okay, so, you know, we just, you know, his likes. And, but the other thing, Christian is techie. He is techie like his daddy. Mm-hmm. When they were between the ages of five and seven, they would like try to build computers and stuff and go get parts from uh, like the Goodwill store and oh Christian let's do this and Christian they would do that stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember as a child how he would break stuff apart but then put it back together. Mm-hmm. And I talked to an engineer. Matter of fact, yo, your sayings. I talked to him. Remember a long time ago we were at dinner, and he was an engineer. I said, Hey, let me ask you something. Do I have an engineer on my hand? And I told him. I said, you know, he's always breaking stuff apart. He said, but does he put it back together? I said, yes, he does. He's like, she, he said, you got one on your hands. He wants to know what's on the inside to get it to work on the outside. Now, why does you do that? So you can stop looking at yourself. Let's see, stop. Now, now I'm going to look at the forehead or whatever that is. Y'all, he just, like, he put me on, like, computer screen punishment yeah because you need to write why the the, show is live you you have to engage the audience i want to see you engage something because last i checked i'm doing all the talking matter of fact let me get a drink that's because you love to talk so did you do the show for me (laughs) all these shows i'm just saying all these shows are for you because you (laughs) love to talk Okay. So but that's anyway. why I had to cut you off sometimes. Okay. Anyway, 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 let me get back. So he's techie like his father. So he has in his mind what he wants his major to be. And going back, the title of this show is The College Journey Begins. And yes, we're talking about Christian. We are preparing early. Um, we are not going to wait to the last minute in this. And he is not doing this alone. Both of us are college graduates, um, even at the master's level. Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. Um, we, his, you know, it, it's just, that's the focus here. You know, if he wanted to go to the military, okay, we could have supported that. Um, but no, that's not his direction. So, um, okay, I'm not going to get emotional. Get so emotional. Anyway, yes. anyway, we're preparing early. So we've been getting so letters from colleges. Are you colleges. ready for him to go to school? Um, I'm getting ready. And you're gonna cry when you? I know I'm gonna cry. Who are you gonna be? I boo-hoo? put. He's so tall. I put my head in his chest. And you're gonna cry right there in his I chest. I don't. And you know what? I don't care. That Negro. Oh my god! I'm ready for an empty nest. No, you're not. Cause you know what? Like I'm feeling right now. When it's Chloe's turn, he gonna be like, "Baby, you want to do virtual learning?" I already know. <laughs> you gonna play games <laughs> with her? Games? <laughs> did you? Um, uh, did you want to uh, go to the go to campus but stay stay at home? You don't have to leave. You don't need to stay in the dorm. No, she's gonna get the full so what college you're trying experience. To say is I'm just saying. I'm gonna. I'm going to be like Pastor Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> bishop. See, Bishop, I didn't call you out like that. Uh be a bishop on bishop. be a bishop on the same on the same uh page. But you know what? Bishop has accepted that harmony, my wonderful, lovely niece Harmony, has been accepted to Spelman. And that's where she's made her now, don't get me wrong. She's had at least, what, 11 colleges or 14 colleges, something like that. Um, 
a lot of big names that mm-hmm. she was accepted. But she chose. She got Spelman, and she wants Spelman. And you that's know who, what it's going to be. You know who I wonder how they, uh, how it's affected them or how it's going to affect them is my bill. It's your bill. Mm-hmm. And they only got one more left. And her and Christian, is, they graduate in the same year. They're four months apart. Like, was he sad when all of his, you know, most of his kids left? That's a good question. Get him on the phone. Ask him. I'll get him on there later. <laughs> I had to call him. See, him. But, yeah, he's, I know he's happy to have an empty nest coming up. I mean, come well, yeah, and you got the pandemic kind of messed that up because they had to come home for a minute. Mm-hmm. You know, but anyway. So, um, yes, we've been getting letters from other universities. Some I've I've heard, some of them heard. Some um colleges, um, they got I you know, we go to a church. The li- and I know I mentioned it a lot. I try to mention because I like my church. I love my church. The Life Church of Atlanta, where my pastor Dr. Terrence A. Merritt. However, uh, my Sunday school teacher, who we did have on, if you remember, for our mental health, um, which was the last show in February when we're talking about self-love, mental health, um, Dr. Dwight Owens, he is a Morehouse alumni as well as our our pastor, and he's a great advocate for Morehouse and other HBCUs. However, he's been so gracious to give us advice um, about Christian and and what they've observed through the Sunday school department. See our our Sunday school department. Doctor Spark, shout out to you. Oh, our wonderful Sunday school superintendent. Sunday school. Doctor Isaac Sparks. Um, so they they like, you know, he would be a great Morehouse man. Oh, oh Morehouse, Morehouse, Morehouse. But one thing I like about Doctor Sparks, he I mean not Doctor Sparks, Doctor Owens, he's just like, I want Christian, he's like, but you apply to Morehouse. So anyway, we're looking at that school. However, there is a school that Christian found. Heck, he came across with back in middle school. And the name of this um, university is Full Sail University. Full Full Sail. Yes. Full Sail, they have been on it, let me tell you. And Full Sail is an accelerated program, meaning... He will have a bachelor's degree in two years. It is one class a month. You focus on that class. No other classes you're focusing on. One class a month. Okay. You get the whole Apple package. Okay. The me- they call it the media package. You, um, whether it's it's um, music industry or film, mm-hmm. cybersecurity, gaming, game design. It is the 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 techie people's dream university. Yes. My husband has already looked into uh, getting uh, involved in one of their certification. Mm. To get one of their certifications alone is ten thousand dollars. To get an Apple computer. Yes, but it includes your media package too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anyway, again, I'm a planner. We're planners. We're not waiting to the last minute. So, with the spring break, um, that he had we made the trip to full sail and right outside orlando yes it's not too far from here that was a fun trip amazing we needed it i needed it too yes you did oh god listen it's been busy so however um did you ever need it so we had to spy out the land so you heard me say all this about the university and so it it is a, a tech person's dream university. Um, you're only dealing with, um, uh, just no, not yet. Oh, okay. No, we'll talk to them later. Yeah, yeah, later. So we just wanted to, um, we had to check it out. Now the good thing about Full Sail, Full Sail, they called us, and it was like just checking on you guys. Da, 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 da. I just want to let you know. Now, they just opened up for juniors to apply now. And I'm like, huh? Yeah, they just started that. So we would love for Christian to apply 
and we can really get involved with the admissions process. I'm like, huh. So I told Christian, we waited a few days. Now, listen, we're not going to put all our eggs in one basket. We're going to venture and look at other universities, which is, again, like I said, Dr. Owens, he's like, check out Morehouse. I want, you know, sign up. And then come to find out his school counselor, Morehouse man as well, Morehouse alumni. And then um, um, Clark Atlanta. Clark Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Dr. Owens also uh, suggests. Um, of course, he's also suggesting Howard. I want to keep Chris so Christian South, though. If he can stay in Georgia yeah. or close to, I don't want to send him to She wants to be in arm's length of her son. Listen, it's too much going on in this world right now between the social civil unrest. She pandemic. already said that we can't turn his bedroom into anything else but it will his not bedroom. Because it is his room. It it Listen. Ain't nothing like coming back and it turned into an exercise room. Mm -mm. It's almost like you wouldn't kick them out. No, 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 no. I want my child, when he does leave my house, he'll be leaving going into his home or his condo for, I'm talking ownership. Not, oh, you can get you a little apartment. No, you can get you a little house that you own. Maybe we flip it. No, mm -mm. setting them up right. Mm-mm. Not not there's some things I don't I don't want him to repeat. I had an apartment, it was cool, it was nice. But no, I don't want that. I want you to go right into ownership. That's what I want. And so, um, I know yeah, I know and it's like, yeah, I'm not planning his life, but I can suggest some things and let him see the importance with the help of his father. Yes, I have help that they grow out all the time. Of course you do. I fuss at him. So anyway, that's why he's the way he is. He's All right, so federalized sport of child. trip to field full sale. Now here's another thing about full sale. Mm -hmm. It is not your traditional college. This is a twenty four hour, hour college. college. Meaning, they will have classes or labs at three o'clock in the morning. My lord. Now that may sound crazy, but you're if you're in the film industry or the music industry. How many producers talk about, man, we was in the studio all night? Yes. They give them real life, real world experience. So I'm just saying, we're going to check it out. They, they listen, we're going to, we have an appointment. They open the campus back up for in-person tours, but it's by appointment only. So when we went there, it was, it was just like. The red carpet. Awesome. Just to see the rooms with all the technology. and mm -hmm. I mean, I think Christian was happy. Mm -hmm. Overjoyed. <laughs> but again, we are not putting all our eggs in one basket. Because I, I still ain't talked to y'all about the housing situation. I just want to do what's right for him. What, I what, do. No, I mean, not, yeah, what's right, but also what he wants to do. Yeah, but we can't. But that has to be done with wisdom. Now, see, y'all see what's going on. Y'all, y'all tune, y'all listen, y'all chime in, y'all write down, help us out. Okay. This is our life interruption. Remember life interruption, good, bad, and different. This is good. This is good. We're planning. We're not waiting to the last minute. So anyway, okay. So they told him he can apply and just by him doing, um, certain, uh, certain tours and stuff, he's already eligible for one scholarship. Then it's this other, uh, so far they have listed three scholarships for him to apply for. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, roll out the red carpet. Yes. Where the money reside, where the money reside. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh. oh I'm, just, I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. I thought somebody was safe. I'm very safe. Uh, okay. So, I'm just saying. Um, Yeah. So, we got there and we uh, took the tour and then, you know, now we have to we uh, look, look for into housing. housing. Now yes. let me tell you about housing. Again, this is not a traditional college. They don't have dormitories. They have apartments. Did you hear what I said? Apartments. So I have to wrap my head around. By that time, he will be eighteen. Going into his first apartment, I do not want him to have roommates because again, I'm a I'm a prepper. So I've already talked to two alumni and they didn't already told me you don't want a roommate. 
They told me experience. And I know y'all like say, well, it may not be his experience. No. Mm-hmm. Because of, again, the climate that we are in, you don't know what bag people are coming out of. Okay. So, but then I found this one mm-hmm. apartment complex that operates like a dormitory. So you can have a choice of a private suite or a semi-private where you have one roommate. Now, you go semi-private, y'all share the bathroom. And I told Christian, you don't want that. You don't want to clean up behind no stranger because I will have to look more into, you know, but I, I don't think they're going to be cleaning up behind these folks. I was like, you, you, you do pay about $200 more a month, but for a private room, your own bathroom, nine yards, and, you're in, and it includes three meals a day and free transport to the campus. That's amazing. This place is four miles away from campus. So, mm-hmm. you know, just just looking at all that. Um, Go around the neighborhood, make sure it was in a decent neighborhood. You know, what's the, you know, what's what's the spirit of the, the land? land? Yeah. What, you know, what are we feeling? What are we discerning? All that. All, all that. So, um they want they they're they're sending all the information finan- financial aid. I am believing for full ride wherever he goes. Yes. Wherever he goes. Full ride, full sale. Um they telling me the GPA is as needed, no problem. Mm-hmm. Um uh we do uh, the other thing he needs to do, he needs to take uh SATs this summer. But um there are also schools waving SAT. Yeah, that, that needs because of the yeah. pandemic. They are waving that. They need to wave the SAT. I'm just saying. Wave it goodbye. Listen. That what that's do you a think good about thing. SATs. Um I did okay. I I didn't But what's the purpose? I think it's a way to kind of separate. Yeah, is it some conspiracy between the ACT I mean, some, and the I, SAT? I learned something um, from my sister-in-law um, that she learned from her uncle. They started having their children practice the a- SAT in middle school. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. So because they learn how to do it, how the questions are worded, how mm-hmm. to take the test. So by the time they became juniors, mm-hmm. They were scoring like fourteen hundred. Oh, wow! I don't know if I did that good. Fourteen hundred on it, but they started them in eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Either it was fourteen. What? What's the highest score? Is it eighteen hundred? I don't know. I think it's eighteen hundred oh. or sixteen hundred. It's a conspiracy because you know the mother. Mm-hmm. But then, but see, there's also the ACT. Now, supposedly, the ACT is more. Um, Go ahead. Like it's is like minorities do better with the ACT, mm-hmm. but test. it's folks cheating their son or daughter. Mm-hmm. Remember that big scandal that happened? Oh years? yeah, they they paid for them to get into Ivy League schools, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you see they're doing time in jail. Mm-hmm. I think one got time Nick to Laughlin or something like that. What was that Some, actress name? A Lori, I Lori think that was Laughlin. her name. Yeah. Or something like that, and then it was an uh, another one. Her name, I think, was Rebecca or something. But mm-mm, no, they really got a slap on the wrist for for what they had to do and everything. But you know, it's parents start suing because some kids did not get in, and here the, here these people, and they had good grades, and here these people paid. Now I feel sorry for the children who did not know this was going on. They just think they got in it. Uh, of course, as if their parents, you know, kept the truth from them. But anyway, that's not the route we're taking. So anyway. Um, so after we left Full sale, just to lay out the land, we mm-hmm. went up to, um, we surprised the kids and went up to the Daytona International Speedway. That was a great experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Quick trip. Yeah, quick trip. They gave us a tour. We were able to buy the kids some little race cars or whatever. It was real cool. It reminded me of the uh, Indianapolis Speedway. Yeah. And I went and brought them uh, back some, some mm-hmm. stuff. So that was cool. It was right by the beach, mm-hmm. kind of. So, yeah, that was a great trip. We uh, we, we needed it. It was a quick, quick turnaround because I had right. to come back and edit 
the broadcast for Life Church of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that was great. That was great. So, um, we wanted to talk about also my experience um, going to HBCU, Historic Black College or University. Right. So, um, when I... When I graduated from uh, Bishop Noel Institute in Hammond, Indiana, um, my grades weren't the best, but they weren't bad. So I, 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 looking back at my, you know, if I was to do it all over again, I probably would have took a little bit more conscious to my grades because I had the opportunity to go to the Air Force Academy. Mm. You didn't know that, huh? No, I didn't know that. I had the opportunity to go to the Air Force. I blew that. Well, not that I blew. I could have still went, but now that I look at it, I was like, man, I should have went. I should have gone to, to the to I the think Air you Force. turned out okay. Matter of fact, I think you turned out rather good, sir. Yeah, but it's just still. I know just you think like you could have done better. Yeah. and when What would you have done with that? That's I the question. flew a jet. Okay. And dropped a you dropped a bomb on me. Let's see, I thought you were safe. I thought you were safe. Oh. Boom. Boom. <laughs> pow. See how that quick see how that turned real quick. I would have flew a jet and dropped a bomb. Bloom boom. Oh who? Don't say don't don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you even answer that. So anyway, I mean you you don't think you just, okay. You don't think you would have still in the that's what I would have did. Boom, baby. Flying a jet. See, and, and that's why he need to stay with computer <laughs> and SharePoint. Just that that right there. That reason. <laughs> and they would have put you in timeout. They would have got you the bomb. Uh, we have a fighter pilot over here that just dropped the bomb. On, <laughs> on yeah, keep it moving. So, um, that was funny. Okay, so I mean, what yeah, was but so, like, so so did, so so after so, no, my I'll, mom had you know my mom and my dad pretty much my mother. She has all these connections, right? Yes, she does. Bless her heart, I love her. Um, so she had a connection down in uh, with a, um, a I think she was a teacher or she did something with uh, admin. Uh oh. So um I can remember she made a phone call and they told me, you know, well how about you know looking at Knoxville College? And I'm like, never heard of Knoxville College. So anyway, um make a long story short, I went down and soon I didn't have to, you know, do I did the paperwork, but it wasn't like I had to do the paperwork. <laughs> but I'm just saying. That's no, I mean, shame. I had to go do That's the paperwork. Hold but, up. Now, we just talked about no, no, no. parents I mean, getting folks in. No, well, it and wasn't like that. I mean, this. I had to do the I had I had to do the paperwork is what I'm oh. saying. But I it wasn't like, you know, um there was a waiting list or anything like mm-hmm. that to get in. But so I uh, went down there, got enrolled, yada yada, signed me up for my classes. And you know, it was a good experience. You know, I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of like an introvert. So it was kind of hard for me to um, introduce myself to people and do all that, yada, yada. But it was cool. So the campus um, was basically, uh, mm, over there. the campus reminded me of, <laughs> I'll say this. <laughs> Campus reminded me of Dora Miller. Oh. <laughs> one way in and one way out. Wow. So <laughs> it was just a big loop. And uh, so you would go in and then you would pass all the dormitories and then you would come out. Um, so most of the um, dormitories were like down in this little kind of valley, I guess mm-hmm. what you're saying. And all the uh, classrooms were up on the hill. But um, um, so we... That was a good experience, just meeting. I was there for two years. Uh, I can remember one thing specifically um, when I didn't, two things actually. So when my dad, uh, and I just found this out recently, 
maybe last year, when my dad dropped me off, um, and he just told me this. We were watching a TV program or something uh, this past year. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but he said he started to cry when he left me because mm. he felt like he didn't prepare me for college. And I'm like, huh? Mm. But he just opened his heart and said that. And I'm like, wow, that's that was deep. You know, so we got past that moment. But um, then I can remember one time I was doing something. I don't know what I did. I was trying to get my schedule together and really was, wasn't was putting it together or what have you. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. But anyway, mm-hmm. I was in my room and all of a sudden I heard, mm. Open the door. <laughs> it was my mama and my dad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because they said you said some real, real slick on the phone yeah, to your I guess mama. So. I guess so. she said, well, I come down here. So next thing I know. <laughs> and that is, that's not a quick trip. That's what, like a 10 hour drive? No, that was like six hours, I think. No, he probably, probably like eight, eight hours. Yeah, they probably did it in six. Cause he drives fast. Yeah, at that time they had a little conversion van. So. Oh yeah, they probably packed <laughs> up some sandwiches and came for you. So anyway, that was funny. But anyway, um, so the the so you have like two experiences though, um, in the black college you have where, you know, the experience where you go on road trips and you go like at that time we were going to like Freaknik and. All this stuff and, you know, a lot of part. But then there's the academic side where you have these black professors that are teaching you, you know, um, their what they know. I mean, that was really powerful just to have someone like you teaching you Mm -hmm. at a in a higher ed type of scenario, you know, and that was that was great. I mean, we did have we had some Caucasian, we had some Asian, you know, professors, but. It was just good, you know, um, being at a HBCU just to get that experience because, you know, I, I, I would admonish everyone to get that experience. It's just, you know, being around your people, being around, you know, just having fun, going to parties, pledging, mm-hmm. um, being with the fraternities and sororities. And then we were uh, probably a good two, three miles from the University of Tennessee. We would drive over to the University of Tennessee uh, mingle with them and it was it's just a fun time you know um I did look at when I was you know looking for co- I did want to go down to um uh Southern University mm-hmm. I looked at that in there but you know it just you happened. wanted to go to New Orleans yeah I wanted to I went there one time for the um Bayou give class. me a Creole Really? Mm-hmm, but I got you, though, baby, which is a lot better. I'm about to say, you better fix that. Yes. You said, but. Yes, but I got you. You could have said, however, honey, I got you. But you, uh-uh. said, but you said, but I got you. No, I didn't say it like Fix that. it, bruh. I said I got you. Fix it, bruh. But I got you. Okay. Which is a lot better. You like butter. You got an Indiana girl. I got me an Indiana red I'm bone. Just, I'm just saying. And I gave you some beautiful children. No, I gave you. No, I gave you some beautiful children. I gave children. you some beautiful children. I carried them. Mm, they look like me. All right, thank you. Enough said. Period. But anyway, um, so with that, we went. Uh, so from that, so I was there for two years. Then I uh, had my home school. Uh, uh, I ended up graduating from Indiana University Northwest in the city. Why did of you Gary, leave Knoxville? Um. I don't know. Why did I leave? I just, at that point, it was becoming a little rundown. So, um, I don't know. Okay, so when we did our Southern tour Uh back in, what was that, 07? Mm -hmm. We we visited the the campus, and it looked ran down. But yet they were still having school there. After... After the year after I left, it just went downhill from there, and I was like, "No, nah, you know." Didn't they lose their accreditation? Yeah, they lost their credit. I think that's why I left because they lost their credit. But I made some good friends, and to this day, I still speak with John, John. L. Jackson, Osajifo, Osajifo. That's the only two. Yeah, 
I just but don't. you was down there and Jamie Foxx, you hung out with Jamie Foxx. Yeah, Fox. yeah, that's a good point. So the thing is about Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, and if anybody knows Jamie Foxx, let them know. Hit, tell them to hit me up. <laughs> no, this was the crazy. So we, I was, uh, I think I was, I was something with the SG, uh, Student Government Association, right? So this was when Jamie Foxx was first making it big. He was only in Living Color, you know, it was just starting to boom and stuff. So we decided to bring in Jamie Foxx on uh, for, I don't know what event, but just, you know, for a comedic uh, event. And so... We, I don't know, the uh, president made the arrangements and brought him in. Come to find out, some money didn't, we didn't have the money to to actually pay for him. I don't know oh. if we had the other half. But anyway, uh, because I was part of the SGA, you know, me and Osaji folk, we were like, okay, well, what are we going to do? So we uh, we went down on the, what we called the strip at the time uh, near the University of Tennessee. We hung, we hung out there and went to a bar and stuff and you know yada 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 and so we were just hanging out then um he's, then we had to take him to the uh his flight left the next morning so we just went to the hotel room and while he crashed on the bed i think i slept on the couch you know so i forgot where well, he might have been on the floor so we camped out in the hotel room got up the next morning took him to the airport so that was a cool experience that that's my did y'all get some mo- extra money to him did he uh, did he perform? No, he didn't perform because he's in that check. It was all about that check. Wow! And the school couldn't even back you. Uh, I don't think so. Wow! Yeah, memories. Yes, I so, hung out with Jamie Foxx, baby. Yeah. So, guys, in conclusion. Oh, okay. I mean, where we at? Oh, we got about another fifteen. Okay. But wait, I didn't wait. Okay, I'm, not I'm done. sorry. Because you did all the talking in the first half. Because I was emotional. Why were you emotional? My baby is is. He's about to go to school. You know <laughs> How does that make you feel? <sighs> How does that make you feel? You know, I've taught him. We've taught him since. No, 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 no. I'm getting you? there. Okay, okay. Because it's like everything you taught him is like, oh, I hope they got it. And it's like now it's. Seems like cram time. Anything else I need to? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Mm-hmm. You know. So. Oh, I heard a little sniffle there. Boy, go. How does it? Hey, <laughs> so so one of the interview techniques that uh, on our documentary, you are so wrong. <laughs> you are so on our we had Rico Ross right when we did the Silent Killer, and so he would interview these people. Uh, not yet. Uh, he would interview these people, right, uh, on the documentary. Mm-hmm. And so he would just say, and, like, how does that make you feel? And then there would be this long pause. And he said that that's when they the emotions come out. You just pause, and you don't say anything to them. And so that's when the tears and stuff start crying. So how does that make you feel? Hmm? How does that make you feel, though? That he's about to go to college. And what about college? How does that make you feel? It makes me feel, first of all, he can go. He's accomplished something. He's, you know, he's getting ready for life, and mm-hmm. I want it to be right. And I already told him, I said, brother, you, you got to break in money because you, you like to live it a certain way. You like to eat way, good yeah. and, and be entertained, and you like nice things, and you've gotten nice, nice things all your life. And so to keep your lifestyle, you need to make good money, brother. And I told him that. And he agreed. But the question is. And and he's talking about, you know, mama, $70,000, $80,000. I said, nope, that's not enough. Nope. You got to get to six figures. But wait. Like entry level six figures. But wait. How does that make you feel? Dude, that's bliss. That's not emotions. I know, but. Yeah, that's all I have for right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's wheel this in. Okay. So, guys, the title is The College Journey Begins, meaning this is just not one episode. We're going to talk about more stuff. Listen, send me a message. 
give me some advice. Um, let's talk scholarships. Um, cause I'm looking, I'm researching. I thank God for my, my friend, Sherelle, my sister, sister. She, her, she's going through the process with Harmony. You know, Harmony's in her last year. She's a senior. And listen, we, we already been shopping on Amazon and oh, she going to need this and she going to need that and getting prepared. And cause you know, waiting to the last minute cost you, cost you. I'm already looking at irons. I'm already looking at uh, shower caddies. Mm-hmm. I'm already looking at this stuff. Okay? Yes, she is. Like she, she's probably going to spend about $100,000 on Christian just in his apartment alone. Make sure his no, no, no. bedding is right. Mm-hmm. Make sure he has the fluffy pillows. Make sure he has all the I know how cookware. to get quali- quality for life. Quality for less, I mean. I know how to get it. And I will not spend a lot of money. I would not. Mm. I learned that from a doctor's wife. Mm. Yes. Okay. Well, so what else are you going to get for? I mean, I mean, when the time comes, but right now we are in planning. We're looking at, um, I, we added, we're going to look at Morehouse. We're going to look at Clark Atlanta. We're going to look at um, Augusta University. We're going to look at UGA. We're going to look at, um, okay, that's four names I'm thinking about right now. And that's where we're at. And so what if what if you're okay, I, I want to pose this question too. What if your son or daughter does not want to go to college? Well, they gotta get up out of this house. No, I'm just I'm saying in general. Oh. Well, they gotta have a plan. I already, I tell them, I said, brother, you know what? If your life ain't together, just get prepared to say hello, welcome to Walmart. I'm just saying. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have no problem working for Walmart, you know. But to me, for Mr. Christian Joshua Edwards that I gave birth to, if you working at Walmart, it's because um, you over the whole IT department and how the flow of, they don't even see you. They don't even see you and, and you're running things. I'm just saying. I'm like, your intelligence and your natural gift will, will, will be utilized and you will be compensated. Your gift will make room for you. And if you want to keep a lifestyle and have the lifestyle that you desire, you have to make a certain amount of money. Just saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have to keep it real with them. You want the Corvettes, Bugattis, and all that stuff. You got to make that money, sir. Mm-hmm. And the right investments and all that. Wow. And we're going to talk about streams for him. Multiple streams. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so this is a journey, not just one episode, guys. We're gonna be talking more about this. So let me ask you this: mm-hmm. So how does that make you? Feel? <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Terrell. Terrell. How does that make you? Feel? Get him. Who's that? It's Terrell. Oh, we can't do that. Though. Facetime. No, not right now. We can't. She's not plugged in. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, she's not plugged into the system. Okay. Unless so, already, already oh, I already did. Oh, okay, you are. Right. Right. So, okay, because well, I'm trying to get this guest on, so we got to, you know, waste a little time. No, so. we cannot. It's okay. it's already been um, an hour. No, almost. I, I'm, we still got about another 10 minutes. I don't, who is your guest? That's just, I mean, just. Oh, chill. I already see who you texting. I just saw who you text. Okay. Okay. Well, so so give it. No, I don't. You don't have anything else. Nope. Wow. Mm-hmm. Can you yeah, believe? Yeah, Miss Chatty Kathy ain't got nothing Can... else to say. Miss <laughs> Chatty Kathy, since you got all these plans and everything. Can yeah. Can you believe that she, Carla Edwards, ran out of words? <laughs> <laughs> So can you believe that she read? So what? What is your um? Okay, so come next year, and it's really time for him to go. I mean, like, what is what is the plan? I mean, what is? What do you mean? What is? The well, plan? not what is the plan, but like, you want to say? You know, I want to say something else about full sale. Okay, go ahead. He graduates next year in May. Mm-hmm. You know he can start school in June. (laughs) That's how quick he can do this. 
So, okay. So then, okay, let, let, me, let me ask you the question that my dad had a concern about. And I don't, I don't know. We should be transparent, I guess. But do you think because of the pandemic, have we been able to adequately adequately prepare Christian for the real world? Yes, but what Christian does with what we've been teaching him is on him. Because, like, we had – so was this the other day? Yeah, this. Yeah, we went out to, to brunch, breakfast brunch, the other day. Excuse me, you all. Um, and so we're just teaching him basic yeah. tip um principles so we normally print uh we normally tip you know 20 percent and if we have bad service you know one percent but no uh, <laughs> but we so what i'm trying to teach them is you know and this is a good tip for anybody but you know if we tip 20 percent, so if it's the bill is like 25 dollars then 10 percent of that is 250 Plus another two fifty, that's five dollars. So you tip, you know, just double whatever the number is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, just basic things like that. That's my concern. Like, will I mean, and not just Christian, but any child. Like, when did when did we as as children as when we were coming from high school to college to real life. Well, they learn a lot by just watching us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. 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 Wait, let's see. Is she? Oh, at the Bluetooth? Yeah. Hello? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's my seal, y'all. That's my seal. Praise the Lord. Uh-huh. First- Welcome to Chris and Carly Live. Yes, how can Praise we help? Praise the Lord. You? Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. You're on <laughs> live. You're on live. People can hear you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hi. How are you? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, sorry to catch you up so off guard today, but we yeah. um, we just wanted to see. But we know you be ye also ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you, you, got okay. a, you got a ready word. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, wow. Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, we, we're talking about prepping our children for college Mm -hmm. and because you know we're calling one of the best in the nation a veteran a veteran veteran. like the you know top dog veteran you know like so we want to gain wisdom from Mm -hmm. you as far as like what steps did you go through well first of all this is what i want to know when Jay, mm-hmm. when Jayla left, oh Lord, the house. Mm-hmm. Did Jay, my brother-in-law, Pastor Jay, did he cry? Um, he did not. Well, I'll say maybe when we were driving home after dropping her off at college. Mm-hmm. I'll just say the ride back home was pretty quiet. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Well, what about? Jelante and Tink. Now for the boys, he he didn't he didn't we didn't I didn't get that same response out of him with that I did with Jayla um, with the boys mm-hmm. for him. Now me on the other hand, yeah, I probably was more emotional. You was tough <laughs> for all of them, but no, he didn't. He didn't. I didn't get that response out of him for the boys because you know you know how fathers are with their sons. You mm-hmm. know he just felt like. You know, they, they time to go out there and, and be prepared for the world. And so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you plug my phone? No, it was plug. a different feat, for sure. Wow. Yeah. So now, but now the pandemic has hit and the two girls left. Man, I just want to know what it's going to be like when when the empty nest is there. You know, we praise God for the empty nest. <laughs> 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 They're going to be running around popping each other with tiles. Right. <laughs> Paya, oh, Paya. In, in, the, in the beginning stages, it was tough. I mean, of course, you know, we get our moments. Mm-hmm. But as each one leaves, uh, we're learning a greater, a greater appreciation um, to see them walk into that next chapter of their lives. And so, 
we might throw ourselves a party after uh, J.R. Miller graduated <laughs> oh, high school. Listen. So we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to celebrate ourselves for uh, five children, uh, putting five children to, in college. I know that's right. Yes. See, y'all see why we said a veteran? Mm-hmm. And and we're we're on the phone with none other than Felicia yes. Blakely. What's her middle initial? Benjamin. Oh, uh, oh, oh, B. Shanta. B. <laughs> Felicia B. B. Blakely. Uh-huh. See you. I heard you say middle. And okay. Uh, yeah. I hit it. Okay. Yes. Uh. So Thank she's you. the. She's but it's the, a fabulous name that's been passed down to to her, one of her children. So she yeah. she is the past. Or co- what are you co-pastor pastor? No, she's the pastor. He's the apostle. Right, right. Pastor, pastor, right, right. pastor, pastor of High Praise International mm-hmm. Ministries. That's my Bill's wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we tried to get him on the phone, but he's downstairs watching Hong Kong, King Kong. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's entertaining company. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, but we 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 still have one of the best on the phone yes right? the so so the veterans so give us some more insight on what it's like prepping your kids to to uh for college and what the what are some of the things that we well need let me to, ask you go this. Ahead, go did, ahead, go ahead. did any of the children with the universities did they want them to apply their junior year say that one more time did any of the universities want any of the kids to apply to their specific college in their junior year in their junior year in high school. Yes. Um, I mean, for me, no. Um, because I think they were, my children were pretty unsure as to what they wanted to do and where they wanted to go. And so uh, we were still preparing, of course, I would say this: each child, I learn to do something di- different and better. Okay. And so, I learn how to prepare better as the children went. You know, and so I, I realized that there were so many opportunities available for them that I didn't know that was available for Jayla. You know, I was able to pick it up with Delante. You know, when Delante went, I was able to get more information to learn how to do things a lot better than I did for Jalen Delante to do for Devante. Um, you know, as far as even like SATs and ACTs, um, you know, most of us, we wait our junior and sometimes our senior years to start preparing our children, you know, but I've learned to start preparing them earlier, you mm-hmm. know, even freshman year in high school. Start getting them taking the PSAT, getting them used to taking, or the ACT, whichever you prefer, just getting them used to taking that test so when the time comes where it really matters, they can definitely maximize their highest ability when it comes to that testing. Wow. So that was a big thing that I learned. Um, that was a big thing. That's a big thing that I learned with the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, now, what about when it comes to, like, scholarships? I mean, because I know... Ooh, yeah, that that was amazing for us. Um, I'll say this. I, I'm a firm believer that if you prepare now, opportunities will come later. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when you're preparing something, you're doing what? You're making ready for it. Mm-hmm. You're making ready for the use of it. And so I always tell the kids, if you do your part, opportunities will come. But you have to do your, your part. part. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what they did. They did their part. They prepared now, and opportunities showed up for them later. You know, as to where, you know, I have one college graduate and three currently in college, you know, and it's the favor of God that we haven't paid a dime for college Ooh, That's at God. all. Mm-hmm. You know, only because there's opportunities out there for our children. But, again, sometimes what, you know, they say my people pair for the lack of knowledge. If you mm-hmm. don't know that opportunity is out there, you won't go after it. But then you got a group of people that know it's out there and they going after it and they not sharing the information. I'm like, listen, this information is free to whosoever will let them come. Mm -hmm. You know, you apply and it works for you. And so there are, there, you'll be surprised how many restaurants and uh, corporate uh, places and different franchises and banks and stuff in your local community, even the colleges that you're applying to, don't let them fool you. They have money available. You know, yeah. scholarships 
and opportunities are there. And so if your children do their part, man, the opportunities will flow. I think I hear a little side hustle for you. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember, you know, I, I do. I mean, we we do seminars at the church. You know, we do seminars where. And here's the, here's the thing, though, and that goes to show you, we do free seminars. You know, an opportunity for the children. I'm, you know, I'm telling them, listen, been here, done this. I know how to get you to this free money for your children. There's no excuse as to where your child can't afford college. And we'll do workshops and maybe have, what, 15, 20 kids Mm -hmm. show up, and then maybe only 12 of them apply. But listen, you best believe we are applying for all. And so it it flows through, you know. It it, it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. So even with Janaea, you know, she wanted to go HBCU. You know, she wanted to go to Howard. Howard is what, number two or three? Uh, number two. College, number, number two. two mm-hmm. You know, and so here it is again. You know, my baby is at Howard. And, I, and when I tell you, you know, the favor is good, we're, we're not paying a dime because there's opportunities out there if you just prepare your children for it. Wow. And, and I did this the first year or the first time I showed them, but then I also put that responsibility on them to go after and do it themselves because when they're in college, I can't, I'm not going to be there to mm-hmm. do that. So I had to teach them how to look for and search for themselves as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then that, that's good because they come out of, out of college debt free already. Yeah. Debt free. Jayla, Jayla has a, what, a RNBSN mm-hmm. debt free. Mm-hmm. Wow. Debt that's free a working in her field. Just stacking. Uh, doing, doing great. <laughs> might I add. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doing wonderful in this pandemic. Uh, thriving definitely yes. and uh, debt-free. Yeah. You know what? One of the things that I can appreciate about you all too, and this is for a lot of parents as well. Don't be so well. I'm. Uh, I I need to look in the mirror, but don't be so quick to have your child, especially if they come back home. Don't be so quick to just say get your own apartment. What I can appreciate oh. you. Uh, what about you all? is the mm-hmm. fact that you all allowed Jayla to come back and stay in the house mm-hmm. so she could just stack up her coins and then be prepared for when her husband come. No, just like, <laughs> no, <seriously. laughs> you yeah. know, she don't have to, she doesn't have to depend on anybody. You know, that's what I can appreciate about it because it was, I just looked at it. I'm Jay, uh, Pastor Jay and I were talking about it mm-hmm. and it was just like, man, that makes so much sense. Have your child come back home, stack the coins. Then when they, you know, when they feel like they need to be out on their own, then they already have a nest pot of resources and funds yep. to, to Or she on. can buy her own. She don't have to get a Jayla man. said she doesn't want to rent. She wants to own. That's right. She, she wants to right. own. And so when she leave our home, she will be in a place where she can do whatever she wants, however she wants. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'll even say this. You know, we we started with her early. You know, mm-hmm. by the time she graduated from college, she had A1 credit. Mm-hmm. So she graduated from college, <sighs> excellent credit, um, got a great job. So when she goes to get a car, guess what? Zero percent here, zero wow. percent here. You know, no money down here. You know, didn't even have to show proof of income because she, man, I'm telling you, we have to prepare her. Our yeah. children. I want my children to be better than me in every area of life, and yeah, I'm putting them good. in a position as to where they can master that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, I want to ask a question if, if go, he go would ahead. let me ask. Well, I'm one. talking. I'm talking about my nieces sorry, and nephews. No, I'm talking about him. He wouldn't let me get. I, do you know how many times I didn't try to ask a wait, question? Wait, wait, Felicia. Wait, what? wait. She talked the whole 45 minutes of the show. Cause and I was now talking she, about the journey. Now she get mad at me I because emotional. I want to talk. I got emotional <laughs> because, you know, we just completed the first tour. And he's applied to his first college in his junior year. Now, yeah. we're not putting all our eggs in one basket. Mm-hmm, absolutely. But the journey is real. Yep, this true. is my first, okay? And they already throwing money at him. Yeah. And he ain't showed them great the first. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. 
he, yep. but they know where he's projected to end even at his junior year and mm-hmm. even more. But it's just like, this is, this is unreal, but I'm not going to yeah. leave him lonely in this. And we're going to walk him through. I said, it makes no sense. He will not, you, you, you know, anyway. So my question was when you discussed, I remember you um talking about the life readiness, um, workshop that you were going to do but I want to go back to when you said um the scholarship ones y'all do now we're not there but do so do y'all plan to do any of these virtually um well we got a couple on the book um already in May Mm -hmm. Uh, a couple of scholarships and um first time home buyers and all that stuff so I can I can arrange to see if they want to, you know, make that a virtual event, you know, because of the time that we're in to kind of expand the audience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll definitely mention that to them. Well, do this. Y'all get a flyer together so we can post it on the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Definitely. And we'll put that on the, on both pages and we'll advertise it. And, um, because and- people want to know, People yeah. want to know. And then we'll we'll have a formal show with you and Pastor Jay. That'd be good. Here. So I know this was, uh, you know, a little impromptu. Last impromptu. But we just wanted to. I, Jay ran across them. I just, so the, the whole issue I was trying to call uh, Pastor Jay, I just wanted to know if he cried. <laughs> he, he, uh, he, got, he got emotional. He, he got, he got emotional. And I think it hit him. Later on, you know, as the house started getting quieter and quieter, you know, I think it started hitting us. But then that pandemic, he wasn't, that pandemic, yeah, didn't get back yeah. noisy. <laughs> yeah, hey, exactly. It, it's gonna hit him when Jayana <laughs> leave, though. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be a Especially wrap. Because she's like, I don't, I don't want to go too far away from my dad. Oh, oh did she say that? She said that. She said that. And so when she said that, oh yeah. His oh, it's eyes, a done deal. She about yeah. to go to Notre Dame. She's <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. wide open, like, yes, she gonna, finally. No, she's going to go to Purdue right down the street. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> she can walk to school. While you playing, she was just looking. She wasn't against it either. So I'm like, oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> you be but, like, but I will say, Carlette mentioned about that junior year. That junior year, that's definitely that premier year. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the year where... You know, it'll really kind of make a break in a sense sometimes. And mm-hmm. so I tell them that junior year, go hard. Go hard in the paint that junior year of high school, for sure. Yeah, well, cool. for sure. Well, he he gets it. He gets it. He's seeing the fruits of his labor. But, you know, Auntie, you can call his phone. Give him a little pep yeah. talk. But I'm going to tell you, his godmother, she been on him like white on rice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. God! But uh, yeah, you can call him. He, he, you know the number, and uh, do do your little your tune up talk. Yeah, he need that every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. Well, well, we thank you so much for this impromptu uh, call, and yes, but uh, we know you were ready. Yeah, I'll be always ready. Mm-hmm. She ready? <laughs> she ready? Well, I mean, I, I'll definitely say that's definitely an area that. Uh, yeah, the fruit speak for itself, so I yeah. gotta, yeah, yeah. definitely right. speak for itself. So, well, thank yeah. you again. You're welcome. Thank right, you. Talk we'll to talk you to you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. That was a good interview. Yeah. With was. my seal. That's my seal. Mm-hmm. My seal. That's my sister-in-law, y'all. And my bill was downstairs watching TV. She probably was just, entertaining. Uh, that, that dude was probably snoring. Why, the TV was watching him because he probably ate a lot. You know what? Get okay. off my brother. <laughs> That's my bill. <laughs> he probably had a plate of food on his stomach. Tough you know, up. we went to chat. Oh, the store was closed. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, everybody, we, uh, we will definitely have... Uh, Pastor Felicia Blakely and Apostle back on our show. This would be um, a great talk, uh, you know, as we get ready for, uh, uh, we're going to call one more other person. Um, uh, 
Let's see if we can get him on the line. Then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get this character. Broadcaster Pro. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's see if we can get this character on the phone. This is my friend. It's Mr. V. Terrell Hill. Uh, hey. Hello, caller. How are you? Good, good. You're you're on Chris and Carly Live, by the way. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, what a privilege and an honor to be on you guys' platform. Uh, yeah, this is your second time, sir. Our lovely, <laughs> our our wonderful producer himself. Yes. So we yeah. we're, we we we're, we're taking on your advice. So yeah, we just had a call in, uh, a dial in, uh, and we've been on by ourselves without anybody for one hour. Then we got on a caller. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. And and our show is titled "The College Journey Begins." So oh. I didn't know we can talk this much. <laughs> oh well, trust me, I know. <laughs> Hey, 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 Terrell, uh, she's been talking the most. Like, it's probably 80 20. You know, the 80 20. Ah! <laughs> Terrell, don't. For the one who says, Well, I can't do this. And I don't right. know. Oh, no, 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 I can't do this. Our life is not interesting. So, guys, we have uh, my friend, my. Um, He's our brother in the this Lord. My brother. I really, I He's really, our brother in the Lord. Yes, in the Lord. I really uh, appreciate. Here we go. I really and appreciate. And the moon and stars. Okay. Right, right. I really appreciate him. He he is like a true brother now. Yeah. I think he's being engrafted into the Edwards family and good people, good people, and we love good his people. Parents. Yes, he started his own podcast, yes. and what is it called? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't have a name for it yet. Oh, that's, it the the name. that's the name. That's the name. I don't yeah, right. have a name for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't have a name for it. Right, right. right. That's it. Yeah. So, Terrell, uh, uh, right uh, quick. Um, wanted to pick your brain. So, if I could ask some, well, I don't think anything is off the cuff for you. But anyway. So, um, <laughs> wanted to see, did you go to college? I don't think you did, right? Yes, he did. You did? Oh, he went. Oh, you know, there's a story to this. I cannot tell lies. <laughs> okay. So, but did, did you, did you, uh, did you graduate? I'm, oh, 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 I'm going to say this again. There's a oh. few stories oh, okay, I cannot okay. tell lies. Okay. This is one of them. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so, okay. So there was a reason why I asked that question. All right. So uh-huh. the reason why I asked that question was like, what do you tell some, a, a child that's about to graduate from high school? And they may not want to pursue an edu- formal education, and they want uh-huh. to go into the arts. They want to do mm-hmm. something else other than going to college. Like, because we're wow. we're trying to, you know, we just went on this college tour last week um, with uh, Christian. We went down mm-hmm. to Florida to Full Sail, and um, mm-hmm. then we went to Daytona Beach. Well, to the International Speedway, but. So we went there and, you know, he got a chance to look around and, you know, so he wants to go there. But we've Mm -hmm. also had conversations with um, like some other individuals who want him to go to like uh, Morehouse or Clark Atlanta, the HBCUs. So like what do you tell someone? What would you tell someone if you had your own child? What would you tell them, you know? Uh, if I had my own child, and I'm talking specifically from my experience, yes, um, I would have started the conversation a long time ago mm-hmm. because the educational system, likened unto the political system and the financial uh, uh, system, the entertainment system, is outdated and behind. Mm-hmm. And so they really don't, even the leap from from high school to college is, 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 is not a step. It's a leap. Mm-hmm. You go from having to ask permission to use the restroom to you either show up or you don't show up for school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of kids are not ready for that transition because I feel like the American school system does a poor job um, when it comes to preparing kids for life. Mm-hmm. Now, they're going to make sure they make their mark because, you know, they got to get there grants and their finances, and they got to stay accredited and blah, blah, blah. So the school system in and of itself is not designed to find, to help the student find their true purpose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's definitely a conversation that has to be had at home. Mm-hmm. Um, because for me, I did not do very well at school at all, mm-hmm. but I'm doing very well at life. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, now, there are some people that don't do well at life, but they can excel academically. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I knew that 12, 15 years from now. Mm-hmm. So I would tell the person, you know, like if I had a child and, and they were not really motivated to go to secondary education, then I would flip to the other end. Because what you need to be a uh, to do well in life, you need integrity, you need honesty, you need work ethic, mm-hmm. you need money management, mm-hmm. you need the well. Excuse me, we all need those things, mm-hmm. and I guess that's the issue for me because none of that's truly taught in school. Mm-hmm. They teach you to make the grade, make the mark, mm-hmm. standardized learning. They don't teach the individual how to truly live. So that I would put my focus there. Because whether the person goes, you know what, I guess an, an easier, easy way to say it, whether the child goes to class or not, the lessons still have to be learned. What is your purpose? What are you here on the earth to do? How are you going to do it? What is the best way to do it? Mm-hmm. And the child that has those questions has more than the child that has all the education in the world. Wow. Okay. So in my opinion. Let me now you just tapped into something that Dr. Owens was saying to us about Christian. Mm-hmm. And I so appreciate him just coming into our lives even the more and like listen, he oh, he turned oh, oh, into, So y'all cheating on me? Y'all cheating on me? <laughs> okay. Is that what we're doing? All right. I I'm nonetheless, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're you still Uncle T. You, you still, still Uncle, Uncle T. T. You, you get Uncle the, T. Uh, okay. Yeah, you still okay. Uncle T. Come on, yeah. man. As, l- as long as Dr. Owens knows. That's all I know. You can call, call him after this and let him know where I stand in all of this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you know what? When we get off here, I'm, we calling you because I got an offer to put on tape with you. So anyway. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um he's that's how he feels about Morehouse or any HBCU um, for black men. Uh-huh. He is totally against the whole idea of full sale. <laughs> well, see, but you have to look at it from a lens, though. First of yes. all, he's, what, 80 years old? I can't so, I, I mean, <laughs> so, so the thing is, no, is that no. you have to... <laughs> to real, let me get my okay. thought out. Okay, he ahead, is ahead, saying the grooming the, is what you just said, Terrell. How you going to live your life? What is your purpose? He said, that's what came out. That's what happens at Morehouse, at Howard, at Clark Atlanta, at these HBCUs. They take them and say, this is the real world. This is how you do this. In addition to you learning your cybersecurity. So it's, but, it's developing what, what? the total man. So why you got to get into fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars worth of debt when oh, the boy got no. quality parents to help you do that? Listen, I get that, but do you realize mm-hmm. that your though, these quality parents sometimes is not listened to, and they have to hear it. <laughs> they have to hear, and that's with every family. They have to hear it from somebody else. They have to hear, yeah, and I'm okay I with know. that because I know one thing I have done with my son and all my children. There is a seed planted. Right, right. Okay. So the right. thing the thing about it is I am okay that the village is enlarged. I am Absolutely. okay with that. And Absolutely. and if if you going to take them in a, in the right direction, then I'm all aboard. But if I see you ain't about the right, I will cut you at the root. Oh lord. Yeah. But okay. see, but I but the the beauty of it, what you're saying, all joking aside cuz y'all know I'm gonna cut up, right. is that you really have two different sides of the spectrum. And the re- but we're saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. So that child is going to do one, two, or three of those options. One, you know, choose a school that focuses on character development, blah, blah, blah. Or two, don't choose that, but get it from the village somewhere else. Or, you know, you know, midways, you know, hold down a good job relax, enjoy yourself, but go to community college, you know, build up your credit for a year or so until you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. But what, you know, uh, everybody has a path. I was fortunate enough to learn that development that Dr. O was speaking of without the prestigious Morehouse College. But there are some people who that is their path. Mm -hmm. And so I think that still, yet still the greatest point in this is 
is that we have to start pointing people towards their past versus what the culture set up by folks that don't look like us say we need to do. Mm-hmm. But and see, so, we have to pay attention to who don't look like us and what we're dealing with. I oh, cannot Lord. send my child. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, hear me good. I'm not, I'm not mm-hmm. talking about being biased. I'm just saying I have to look at all of this because of the social civil climate that we have right now. Mm-hmm. I have to watch where he's going. I am not to send my child to a trap. I don't care. How oh, good no, you're of course. No, of course not. Of course not. But again, I think it, it goes back to the root of it. What is his path? So right. it's his path. Uh, I mean, cause he could go the Dr. Owens way or he can go the V Terrell Hill way, or he can create his own unique path, like a hybrid or conglomerate of all of the above. But, I think the biggest thing for the viewers and listeners is, are you teaching those in the village to follow their path? Are you teaching those in the village to follow your path? Are you teaching those in the village to follow their, the other path? Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, the, uh, the, uh, the other, the T H E I R or the T H E R E. I think that's that's the other. Yeah. Um, So you did um, go to school. You know yeah, why. I did, didn't I? <laughs> so, uh, so, so that's the thing. I think that Christian, and another thing too is, the true lesson in this too is that you don't have to, you could be all right. Um, how can I say this? It is not a failure to change your mind midway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's that's just true. say he goes to full sale. And he said, you know, that's not really feeling me. Well, let me go to Morehouse. Well, I'm not really feeling that. Oh, you know what? I went to Clark Atlanta and bam, I did it. Well, you know what? If it takes him six years, if it takes him eight years to find his path, he'll still be ahead of most because most are 70 and 80 and don't know still what they're doing in their life. Mm. So I think that I think that this kind of pressure to figure it out is very faux because you and I know that, um, and the listeners know that we really don't figure it out so much later on anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, is and the, the statistic is, is that most people who go to college end up working in a field that they didn't even study for. So as being you know, myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you didn't study wow. until your master's degree. Right. So I, um, <laughs> um, so I, um, I, I mean, think that not that way. Oh my God, Terrell and Chris, you're just horrible. <laughs> and so, oh. but, but the point, but but to go back to the original question, I would definitely, if I could do it all over again, mm-hmm. I would have suggested, and my parents would have listened to me too. I would have suggested I was homeschooled mm. and focus on building businesses and thinking of creative ideas and sticking with my music and all the things that I love to do early on. And I would not have given federal state university one red set because it was not for me at all. Mm-hmm. So, so like for me and then we're at an hour and a half, by the way. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Cause you talked, <laughs> you talked probably about 45 minutes of it, babe. I know. It's real shady right here. <laughs> I couldn't get it a word, a word to rest. Because so, you're talking about my baby. That's mm-hmm, why. Yeah, you almost cried on the right. show, too. So, I, but. Uh, I should get <laughs> Right. <laughs> hey, hey, but, but Carlette, yeah. let, let it be about Chloe. He would be running a whole listen, river. Like that. Listen, cry me a river. Cry uh-huh. me a river. All right. <laughs> anyway, my question. So, so. And then we have to, we have to be cautious, too, of how we steer our child because for example mm-hmm. um my parents wanted me to go to computers right because they saw you know xyz i didn't really want to go down that path but i did it to suffice them so but what i wanted to do i wanted to go more into the arts i wanted to be like a professional fashion photographer then i nice. think at that point that would have morphed into what I'm doing now as far as video still, I'm, I'm still on that path, but it just would have been right. at an earlier point. So like, for example, when we lived out in California, I'm like, man, I could have went to us UCLA, got me a uh-huh. cinematography degree. I could have went to LA film school, yada, yada. 
But, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. But I'm like, man, I, I had all these opportunities where I could have, if I just would have did more research and really follow my passion, you know, right. I would have been, I don't know if I would have been, I don't want to use the word better off, but I would have been more satisfied and more accomplished, kind of. You would have done it earlier. Right. You know, but I, right. I, 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 and I may not have been, you know, working in IT. Right. I would have been making feature films at an earlier age. That's what I just said. Right. Yeah. So. But, but IT right. is paying the bills. Right. But, but I'm saying that we have to be careful and be sensitive of that because I don't want to steer Christian in the wrong direction that, you know, just because I'm doing computers, that doesn't mean necessarily mean that he has to do, he has to do what's in his heart to do. Well, he said it. Right. Right. So, right. so that's that. I know, huh, go I know my father, my father did not go to school at all. Uh, mm-hmm. Now at late age, interesting enough, my father did not go to school, went military 24 years. And we lived a very privileged life. Mm-hmm. Um, but then after he retired twice, he decides, oh, I want to get a bachelor's degree. Mm-hmm. My mom, after he got his bachelor's, went and got her bachelor's, got her master's two, three times over, and now working on a doctorate. Um, and so that I think that we should – Hopefully, when I say we, I'm talking about the village, not mm-hmm. just parents, but the mm-hmm. village. Don't pass the full lesson from our upbringing on to the next generation. This next generation, I don't think they're going to excel by making the grade. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to excel by um, creativity, by mm-hmm. entrepreneurship, by yeah. ingenuity. Um, that's my guess in it. And I think state. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything that has to do with like go getting it, how to. Cause so, for example, these kids want a quick turnaround. The ROI has to be high right. to keep a child's attention. And so, like starting low level, and twenty years later, now you you know the firm, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh no, that they ain't doing that. that uh-uh. Yeah, but something like real estate, where you can get in real quick, use your social media savviness. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all that kind of carrying on. Um, uh, uh, even when it comes to stocks um, and, um, and cryptocurrency and all of these things that we really need to be paying attention to, digital media and YouTube and TikTok. And it's, so, it's so easy to monetize anything mm-hmm. these days. Um, it's, um, so, yeah, it, I think that's, that, that, is, that is where this next generation is going to excel Mm -hmm. and those people will employ the people that make the mark. Um, So I must admit, I do have a slant because I have more college degree people working for me than I do the degrees on my wall. Mm -hmm. So, uh, (laughs) so there's a slant, there is a true slant to it. Uh, But in fairness, whether he goes Dr. O's way, or whether he goes my way or his own way, I think as long as he finds his way and he has great parents mm-hmm. and a great upbringing, he is going to be an asset to society. Mm-hmm. And that we can be thankful for. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Thank you for that. Uh, my last question mm-hmm. for you is, um, so you were raised in Germany at, and you left Germany at 14. Um, um, no. Well, well, how? What, okay, what was it? So I was I was raised it was seventeen. Seventeen, seventeen, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, what mm-hmm. what was the was there any difference between the educational system in Germany versus the educational system here in the United States? Oh God, yeah. So, uh, uh, for it, money, mm-hmm. money makes a difference. And so, which bothers me about the American school system. Because, uh, the, you know, the amount of money you make determines the quality of your education. Now, you're talking Even about in, in Germany or here? I'm talking about the difference. In the, I'm talking about here, okay. but I'll, as well in Germany. Mm-hmm. And so what I mean by that is that the schools were funded by the government. Mm-hmm. They were not funded by taxes. and I mean, excuse me, local taxes. They were funded by federal taxes. So... Like our computer lab, we always had the new computers 
Mm-hmm. We had carpet. We had the nice office chairs. Mm-hmm. And it was just a, and so, and I say that because when I moved to Germany, the second, I'm excuse me, America to the second semester of my um, 12th grade year. And I walked into the computer lab and I saw hard chairs and a dirty tile floor with outdated, small, little, dingy Mac computers. Mm-hmm. I was so confused. Wow. And I was like, it felt like going to school in America felt like prison. And the reason why I say that is because I used to do prison ministry. Mm-hmm. That it's dark, it's cold, and I lived in a decent neighborhood. But I was comparing it to the Dodd school system where the money flowed greatly down to us. I mean, mm-hmm. we uh, we just we had we really had a, the best of the best. It was like it was almost like a private school. And so, of course, you got great teachers that's coming from America um, to teach in those schools, and you get that quality education that's not always given in America. So, um, that's the difference, but it's no different than the person that's raised in, that lives in Buckhead are the person versus the person that's, uh, raised uh, or lives in the underground in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Those two different school systems are the difference between the Dodge school system and the American school system. Wow. Money. Status. Wow. Interesting. So, uh, well, yeah. we, we're, we're coming up on the, Hour and a half, Mark, because of my oh, wife. Yeah. She talks so ah! long. Um, but it was good. She did. She did very. You'll be very proud of her. No, I'm listen. I got a feeling. I can tell by the uh, the, the banter. E-word. No, not the banner, but the e word that I won't use on y'all show. That um, <laughs> um, that uh, y'all y'all out here y'all out here killing the game. Yeah. So, uh, I, I can't wait to, li- to listen to it. What's you the E-word? Read the replay. You're going to have to text us the, the, uh, the E-word. Evolution? What's the E-word? Energy. Oh, child. <laughs> Y'all know I'm always talking about the energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the don't we know that? The anointing. Huh? Yes. Uh, the, oh, the anointing. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, we appreciate the impromptu yes. call. Yes. Um, so, oh, listen, I love it. yeah, we're going to uh, wrap it up. We'll give you a call after the show is over. Yeah, because I have a All proposal. Right, I have a proposal. Get your heart and mind ready. Well, you know, if it, it may you cost you some money, though, because, you know, he ain't going to do nothing without money. <laughs> money reside with a money reside. Okay, come on. Oh, <laughs> money yeah. Reside. Oh, All Lord. right, I'll chat with y'all. I, I'm saved on this side. I don't know about y'all. All right, man, we'll talk oh. to you later. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right what's it? What's up? Listen. Thank y'all for tuning in today. Where the yes. college uh, journey begins. This is just the first episode. It's more we got to say because yeah. there's more we about to. Experience. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring on Felicia and uh, Jay again. So. Yeah. In a non-impromptu, so we can see their faces. And, and we're gonna read some of our friends who's who's went through this process. We calling you. Yeah. Cause it's that time. It's that time. Oh, we got prom coming up. What are we gonna do about that? Oh God, I don't, I don't, that's even if there is a prom. And 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 Letterman jackets and class rings. Oh my God. Mm. All right, y'all. We gonna we gonna call it uh, a show, a wrap. Thank you. Thank See you. Y'all. Make sure that if you can support us uh, financially, Cash C App, CNC, CNC Live. Live. Yeah, dollar sign. It, it will go oh. to the show, not the college fund. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Dollar sign, CNC Live. We do uh, try to sow a seed in our guests that we bring on um, for the topic of the show. So if you can, just um, uh, make sure you sow a seed. $10, 15 Hey, or two hundred. Just you get saying. A, you get a prayer towel. We get a what? Prayer towel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, if you can, you you all know I have a joke. So. All but, right. Um, thank you. We'll thank see you. y'all next week. Bye. See, see how she just end the show because you just ran long. I'm yeah. just doing the Carla head. Come on. Just, all right. We love y'all. All Say right. your prayers tonight. Let's I told you. Love you. Playing. Peace. Thanks for joining us this week on Chris and Carlette Live. Make sure to visit our website, chrisandcarlette.com. If you're on Facebook, share this broadcast. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to our show. You may also find us on Apple Podcasts, where you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, 
we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out too. Let us stay in contact with you by texting CNC Live to 474747. That's CNC Live to 474747. CNC Live.